Yo, you too. What's going on? I got you here. Coming at you with a crucible match. This is actually skirmish, and uh, you know we play this a lot. Me, CBS, and Asa always on this for the most part because it's usually us three on. And why not? At least we know with a squad of three, we have a greater chance of winning instead of playing, you know, clash or control. Because sometimes you get some dumb teammates. So with this one, I believe it's a pretty good um, gameplay. I won't give it away how it ends, but it's no world record like my last video. <laughs> all right. Well, lately I've been playing a lot of Crucible, and that's pretty much all I really want to play is Crucible. Especially the bounties. They have some good ones. I know they're like the same ones repeating, but I'm cool with it. Like killing 25 hunters or titans or warlocks. To me, that's, that's not hard at all. You can usually get that in a couple games, and if you're lucky, you run into a lobby where there's like nothing but hunters or all titans, so usually I can almost get that in one game. At least for those ones. But, man, with this, I've been craving just that PvP, and not really the PvE aspect. I've never really been a big fan of that, and honestly, what got me into online gaming way back when was Call of Duty. And I just loved it. The very first time I ever played it, it was on my buddy's account. And I remember just getting wrecked. But it was just so much fun just being able to go out and just play against other random people. And, you know, getting that experience with PvE isn't there. You know, it's computers and they just, well, they're set to do the same thing. And man, the motherfuckers are annoying too. You ever get it? You're going and they hide. Like, what the fuck? You're sitting there, you know, you're hitting them and shooting them getting their shield down and them computers are so quick to hide as soon as their shield goes down that's it's really annoying and with you know the pvp aspect it doesn't happen as much you I mean you get some smart players they'll back up at least to their team to try to get some cover if they're getting overwhelmed but instantly as soon as their shield's down you don't see them instantly running away they're gonna try to fight you too i know that's how i am i'm gonna go after you try to hide if i'm gonna be outnumbered i know i'm retreating it's just a smart tactic but I just miss it. Like, I know there's a simple thing, like right here, here you go. You know, I'm supercharged. Hey, I guess it's like a reward in a sense. But it's not like the classic, you know, you go three and you get like UAV. And I'm more of a fan of, you know, some kind of reward for going on kill streaks. Especially when you start getting on these high kill streaks. On here, yeah, you get some glimmer. But glimmer isn't much. Okay, five for a five kill streak, ten for a ten. Nah, it's kind of shitty. But at least it's something, I guess. But I don't know. I just, I just missing it. I don't know why. And I haven't really been into the last two Call of Duties. This last one just came out. I didn't even buy that shit. Before it even came out, I was telling everybody, I'm not buying it, not buying it. I said I was going to wait at least a month. And a month came and went, and nothing changed my mind. I saw the gameplay, nothing interesting. And... But I do miss the fun times of just running through me and a squad because you know you will always have people on we are always playing at least you know 6v6 and before you know xbox one you could you know have the ground war and that was amazing because you always had people and i always had friends on playing call of duty all the time if i knew i was gonna play i'd never play by myself but there's times on here man i'm just playing by myself and it's kind of a, it's kind of boring i still play some crucible i mean it's better than going through and playing some of these other bounties because I'm just tired of playing the same shit over and over but I don't want it to be negative because I do love Destiny I still enjoy playing it especially if there's going to be some kind of reward like the weekly but like the daily I don't do that shit I don't need any of them maybe if they would give some better rewards or have a chance at like a good reward dropping or an exotic I might go back to doing that but I just love that PvP this is it's so much fun and right here you know here we go just going ham on these fools look at their score just completely raping them just owing them and i love that and we used to do that so much but now i barely even have enough people to ever go more than 3v3 that's why you know always got cbs asa with me and we be doing work so at least there's that part but i just miss it oh look at this ah oh, going with the super ah oh, motherfucker i used to too <laughs> it's cool though you know, that doesn't matter as long as we're winning. That's all I care about. I'm cool with it. We're still raping these noobs, so let's do it. 
So I know it's starting to get closer though. I think here in a few months they're going to start having the reveals for the next Call of Duty. So I'm definitely looking forward to it because, you know, it's coming at you from Treyarch. So I'm definitely more of a fan of theirs because my favorite Call of Duty of all time is still Black Ops. It wasn't my first, but that's where I was definitely going in on some noobs. That's actually where me and CBS first started playing. So it takes us back sometime. That's when we were originally just getting them noobs, and here I was. I wasn't trying to be a noob. Remember, like I say, you got to keep playing to the end. I seen this guy coming. I definitely didn't want to die. So coming at you with this 13 and 0 gameplay right here. Definitely one flawless. It was a fun one right here. And guess what? Got that legendary Ingram. What up? But until next time, I got you. Out.